The Golden Suns won AIC and NAIA District 17 championships again during the 1993-94 season and went all the way to the national quarterfinals of the 1994 NAIA National Tournament. After 139 games, three conference titles, and two national championships, the Strack, Pinion, Setliff, Grell, Nagel era came to an end. By the time it did, the already nationally known Arkansas Tech women's basketball program had been elevated to an entirely new level. The Golden Suns of the early 1990s sustained and strengthened a chain of success that continues to this day. Almost a quarter century later, the Arkansas Tech Golden Suns remain the only four-year college basketball program in Arkansas history to win consecutive national championships. But they gave me the confidence in coaching to believe in what I was doing, to uh, understand that you know this is the way the game should be played for me, for my philosophy. So you know it gave me a lot of a lot of uh, confidence to try new things, to let them do a lot of different things, and so it pretty well set my career in the place to where you know it is today with being able to coach those kids there. So it was it was unique, it was fun, and it was you know it was challenging. But uh, you know, the only thing that I wish different was that I wish I knew at that time, with my experience today, how much to tell them how great they were because they were a great team. And I tell them that today when I see them. I'd say, you know, I'll never coach another team like that. And you know, so it was, you know, you don't know that at the time. And you know, it's kind of like the Bear Bryant story. You know, I killed them, and they didn't really have to, you know, but they went through it. They held up. And that's, that's the team that I compare all my other teams to, is all right, what should they do? How should I get them to that point? And so that's the team that, to me, that I could coach on any level and win with that team. I mean, there's no doubt they could have won on any level big time. They were that good a team. I don't, I, I don't know. He, um, he made a big impact on our lives. Just from what I said before, he kind of showed you how to be a, that tough love parent how to follow through on things. He held you accountable. Um, you had to, you had to, he didn't care what you did the day before, the year before, he didn't care who you were, if you're an All-American or if you were a walk-on or if you were a half scholarship player. If you um, worked your tail off, he, he promised you great things would come. And so that's kind of a good outlook on life. Hard work and determination will get you far in life. I owe a lot to him. You know, for four years we had a love-hate relationship. We loved to hate him. Um, didn't understand it. Uh, then, obviously, me going into the profession and uh, getting to see a little bit different side, totally get what he does. And he is such a perfectionist, such a detail-oriented person. I think he instilled in all of us that it doesn't matter where you're from, what size you are, if you'll give me everything you've got, pay attention to details, you can be successful in any walk of life. At the time, it meant a lot to me. Um, looking back at it now, it probably means a lot more because here we were in college and, and competing and working hard and um, doing it together as a team. And um, I, everything I look at, you know, goes back to teamwork. Even in my job today, it's teamwork. And um, I just have a lot, a lot of respect for what we did as a team and um, how we pulled together. And I just wish more people were like that and more people got to experience that. I think it's a good thing for young people to experience teamwork and, and working together to, to, come, to achieve that common goal. As far as meeting challenges, you could tell right then they were a special group of young ladies. And so it wasn't just on the basketball court. And they're competitive as heck. I mean, you know, even today, they, they want to be the best in their profession that they're in. And I told them all along, always choose a profession that you'll enjoy, that will challenge you. And I said, then you'll enjoy what you're doing. I said, no matter what you get paid. And so they were those type people. They, they're in their profession. I guarantee you, you can ask any of their bosses that they're the best that they got, and they're just that type of people.
you know, they, they're, they're, they're not going to be another team out there like that. Now, I've coached some good teams, but uh, for a team to do what they did, that's pretty unique. Well, that's the group that put me in the Hall of Fame. I mean, without them, I'm not in the Hall of Fame. And I knew that when I got in the Hall of Fame. That, that's the reason I was in it. And so for them to be in it, that kind of completes it right there.